Submitting an application. This video takes you through the various pages of the online application process showing you what information you need to have on hand in order for submission to be successful. Please be aware that you have 15 minutes to complete your application submission. It is not possible to save your application and return to complete it at a later time, so it is important that you have all the information you need to provide on hand. You will select the type of application you are submitting. You will need to know either the street address or the roll number of the property. The roll number can be found on the property tax bill. Alternatively, you are able to select the property from a map. If there are multiple parcels included in the project you will be able to add them to your application. You will need to give a brief description of the nature of the project. You will need to provide property owner information in project statistics and details. The information you provide on this page depends on the type of application you are submitting. Please refer to the application guide for a list of site statistics you will need to provide. Five, there may be a pre-application or initial application fee to pay. You may pay this online immediately or later, after you have completed the submission process. At the end of the application process you will be shown a summary of the application. You may wish to print a copy for your records. A message will appear indicating that your application was successfully submitted. At this point, if you have not yet paid any applicable pre-application or initial application fee, you will need to do this before you are allowed to upload your submission drawings and documents. There is no time period in which you must do this, so you can do it at your own convenience. 7. Once you have paid the pre-application or initial application fee, return to the details page of the application. Shortly, you will receive email notification of your applicant upload task, letting you know that you can upload your submission files. On the details page, the ePlan Upload Attachments Drawings Etc. button is now visible. Click this button to go to the ePlan Digital Review Environment where you will accept your applicant upload task and upload your files. Once you have uploaded all your submission files, complete your applicant upload task and await email notification of your next task or further instruction from city staff. Please refer to the separate video on uploading files for further guidance.